Greetings, greetings, my dears. It is me, Chelsea Rose, also known as Lucid Rose. And it's the end of summer in my corner of the world. And I couldn't be more pleased. This summer can go stuff it. Like, oh my God, I'm so sick of summer. So anyway, back to what I was wanting to tell you about. I've pretty much just been hiding in my art studio experimenting and making art and trying not to freak out about impending doom. <laughs> uh, so the main thing I've been really excited to experiment with is teaware. As you know, I'm obsessed with tea. I'm obsessed with tea and tea paraphernalia and teapots and teacups and all the little things that go together. And I'd love to make my own tea set someday. Uh, so I have been exploring ceramic painting. So for those of you who are not familiar with ceramics, let me walk you through what my experimental process looked like. Um, I really didn't have an idea of what I was doing. I was just doing a lot of Googling. I was asking local ceramic artists that I knew for advice and help. Um, and I came up with something that was pretty cool and I'm excited and I've listed all of these new creations in my Etsy shop. Um, we'll get to that later. So I started out by going to a local ceramic studio and buying bisque ware, um, biscuit ware, um, bisque ware. So it's, it's clay that has been shaped, often mold, it's a mold, um, shaped and then fired once to get it to a solid but porous state where it will receive color, receive underglazing. Uh, so just some bisque ware. And the underglaze that I've been using is called Amico Semi-Moist Underglaze, uh, also known as Amico Smugs. Um, and uh, the, the cool thing, the main awesomeness about this underglaze is it works like watercolor. Isn't that cool? Like you can watercolor ceramics. Uh, who'd have thunk it? So of course I've been having a lot of fun with that. Here's my little Amico watercolor set. Um, this is what it looks like inside. Uh, it's got eight pans. There's a bunch of different sets that have different colors. Um, they're pretty spendy. This was around $30. Um, so yeah, ceramics ain't cheap. <laughs> so I was taking those semi-moist underglaze and I was painting directly onto the bisque ware. And then once I was done with that, I had to use a clear glaze, which I then sponged and then painted over in coats over the entire cups. And then I took it to back to Georgie's where I got my bisque ware and they fired it in a kiln. Uh, and then it was all done. And let me show you my little babies. Here's the first one. She's probably my favorite of the batch because well, purpleness, very purple. And she's just a floaty third eye goddess spirit. Um, as you can see, the hair wraps around the whole mug. Um, you know, but as you're using it, you know, to drink, you've got her hanging out with you. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, and I, I just liked the stripey formula. I, I pretty much did the same thing with each of my cups where I did a design. I did a bunch of splatters. Look at all the splattery stuff going on. Lots of little splattery stuff. I did lots of splatters. I did a stripey handle and I did drips around the rim um, with the color that I used for the designs. So that was kind of my formula for all of my cups. And I have a little signature down here. Lucid Rose. Uh, so yeah, here is, here's my first cup. Uh, I've listed this on Etsy. It has sold. Here's another one I did with my signature water spirit fish third eye goddesses. Get you a close up here. Lots of detail. Um, for this one, I also put little darker pieces of blue in there to look like there was schools of fish kind of swimming around. So yeah, two fishies, two spirit, two, two water spirits hanging out. Um, and again, this one, as you're drinking it, 
you've got this one hanging out with you. And there are lots of blue splatters and drippies in the in the main cup well and my signature and some various blue striping on the handle. So this one is available in my Etsy shop. Um, yes. And I price these at 25, but I do have a 15% off sale going on my entire store right now. So it's a good time to collect some things if you've been thinking about it. Here's another one of my favorites. It's a mermaid cup. So here she is hanging out and she curls around the entire cup with her fin. So it ends there. There's her fin. So she's just swimming on through this green water here. Uh, so I decorated the inside with green and purple drips and blue splatters and symmetry block. Mermaid cup for the win. You know I love mermaids. I couldn't resist. So there she is. She's also in my Etsy shop. Last but not least, I did an angel. Uh, so here she is. So I did a little different. I, um, I wrapped the design around in a different way so that when you're looking at the cup, it's just an interesting angular uh, wing on each side. So it's like a winged cup. Um, but, but in the center here is my third eye feathered winged being in yellow. Same format too. I have yellow and blue drips on the inside. Signature block. Yeah. So those are all my cups available in my Etsy shop for 25 each. So yes, uh, if you want to collect any of my teacups, go to chelsearosearts.com, click on the shop link, or you can go directly to my shop, which is lucidopticlab.etsy.com. Uh, take advantage of that 15% off discount and uh, grab you some stuff. Um, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching. Please like and share and comment and do all the bits of the things and the stuff and um, I have more to show you soon. Uh, it's just been really hard to do any YouTube videos with so much of my space being noisy with air conditioners and fans because it's been so hot. But uh, this weekend it's gonna be in the 70s, so it's the sweet spot. I'm gonna start up doing some more videos. I know quite a few of you have been asking me to do a uh, tentacle uh, or lock or dreadlock update so I can do that. Um, you can find me elsewhere. You can follow me elsewhere. I post daily on Instagram under Lucid Rose, and I usually flip those posts to my Facebook fan page, which is Chelsea Rose Arts. Uh, I'm also on Twitter as Lucid Rose. And um, if you're looking for an alternative way to support me, um, I have my Patreon account set up, which is patreon.com slash Chelsea Rose Arts. It's kind of like my tip jar, and um, for supporting me, I do some kickbacks, like I give extra Etsy coupon code discounts, I release a monthly coloring page, um, stuff like that. So that's patreon.com slash Chelsea Rose Arts, and again, Etsy shop, lucidopticlab.etsy.com. Big sale going on, end of summer, yay! I'm so excited about fall, okay. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching. Much love. Mwah. Bye. Thank you, Zap.